Hey, what's up, guys? Yes, the mullet is gone. Um, yeah, I kind of have these two things that look like piercings, but they're just pimples because of stress. Um, so yeah, what we're doing in today's video is there's a new something behind me. And I thought I would get into it with a little bit of pizzazz and, you know, all this new weird stuff and all this stuff. And yes, there's a light bar sitting on my bed that hasn't been attached to my truck yet because I'm a lazy. So... Before I say anything else, let's get on into this couch. Swag, bitch. Hey there, guys. So, this is the Love Sack sectional couch from the company Love Sack. There's the guys that make the big beanbag couches, but they're really fucking comfy. They're like the best, comfiest sack that you'll ever have. So, what I wanted to tell you guys is that this is not the original setup that I used to have. This setup, why I have this one sitting over here, is because I used to have one of these, like, this was, like, four of these, and then this straight to the wall, straight to the bed, and everything. Um, so many of the new Love Sack couches do still work with the old Love Sack couches. So you can buy from older people and people that want to get rid of these older ones you can buy them and upgrade them now in the sense that you don't want to upgrade or you want to buy upgrades you can upgrade your couches to the stealth tech that they will send you um pretty much i was working with the basis of 95 long which was this wall right here to a 82 wide. That's what I was working with. So I had an idea. It didn't work as well because it was a little, little too tight. A little too tight. But eventually I'm going to switch it up again. But right now it's comfortable. I can sit in there and do everything. Uh, for movie experiences, best couch I've ever sat in. Um, for g gaming experiences, Best couch I ever sat in. Um, now we'll talk about the Stealth Tech. The Stealth Tech, if you're looking in to get one of these couches with the Stealth Tech, actually, you're looking about maybe three, seven, or even four. Not 400, not 300, 4,000. It's expensive. But I got it on sale, 4th of July. Thank God. Now, besides the fact, you have the sound system and the charging system. I'm going to go over the charging system because it's wirelessly charging. So say I'm sitting on that side of my couch, chilling and everything. Oh, would you look at this. Phone's dying. Put it there, move it around. Bing! Charge your phone. Oh, well. Hey. It's one less thing. You have to take the cord, plug it in, whatever. But if your phone is not capable of wirelessly charging, there is this little hole in the thing here. With the Stealth Tech, it comes with a white box. The white box can be plugged into any one, two, three, four, four holes that you may have closest to an alley. And the cord comes with about a three, four foot cord to reach a plug. Now, it comes with two USBs and two plug ports. So you can plug a regular phone charger, uh, USB charger, whatever. You can plug it all into that thing. And it comes with one of them ports for the um, European standards of a port to plug into the um, different kind of styles of plugs. Um, just in case. Because you might be from out of state or out of country. You know. You know how it goes. So the wireless charging is pretty cool. I've had two friends already charge their phones on them and everything. Because they were dead. Um, it does charge pretty fast. Um, the sound system. You have four to five different modes. Let me get it pulled up here for you. Uh, it's on my phone. I got because you can actually control the Love Sack couch through your phone. If anything, wow. So right here you have your you have your system audio. You have your center audio, subwoofer bass, and treble. Then you have a mode where you can turn it just to the sound bar or fully to the couch. So I have it on quiet couch because I don't need it this late at night. Now they do have different modes. They have 
music, movies, TV, and news. Personally, I keep it on the music. Because when you're playing Fortnite, Vanguard, or Rainbow Six, you're pretty engulfed into the game. And your sound system, like say you got footsteps on beside you on Fortnite. You can feel them over there. And then if you do a 360 in the game, you can literally hear the sound go around you. And you're listening to gunshots behind you. And then you're listening to gunshots in front of you when you turn your head in the game. It's insanely responsive and amazing. Like, say if you're flying a ship, the base is giving you that feeling like you're in the cockpit of a jet. And you're like, oh, shit. Like, that's amazing. Um, yeah, the couch was a lot of money. A little bit over. A little bit overextended. But, hey, it's worth it. It's fun. I get enjoyment out of it. It's worth it. Because now, I have this thing until I die. Let's say it's near, like, 2025. 20, no, that's a little too close. Like, 2050. Maybe I won't be around. Maybe I will. Who knows? You might be watching this in the 2070s. And I'll be like a 90-year-old man going, Yeah, I remember when I was that age. But yeah. But that is a love sad couch. If you want, stick around after this little clip, and I'll tell you what I've been up to lately. But that is a love set, guys. It's comfortable, it's reliable, it's lifetime warranty, and you can change it. If you don't like the way this looks, you can buy a whole different set to just change this up. Everything fits pretty well curved, and everything's Velcro, which is very, very 2000. Loved it. So, I will talk to you guys later. If you want, stick around, I'll tell you what's up. Thou shalt say, I have lived this year. Okay, so, as you all know, I got my tattoo. I started talking to this girl. And got ghosted. Or, you know, went back to her ex. Or, she went back to her ex. Um, so, whatever, on my part. We're still friends, I think. I haven't really talked to her, so I wouldn't know. Um, but I started talking to this new girl. She's really nice, really shy. I kind of like her, and I'm hoping that the vibe is right between me and her, and you know, it goes somewhere. But you know, all you can do is hope for the best. Um, Health wise, doing better, losing a lot of weight. I just wear hoodies at night now because it's whatever. Um, but uh, nothing, nothing has really changed. I mean, everything's pretty good. I went to Florida. That was nice. Um, tractor still ain't done. I've been meaning to pull that out, but it's been so humid out lately that it's like 110 when it's only like 90 degrees out, but the humidity is just so high that you can barely stand out there for more than 20 to 30 minutes and deal with it. Got sort of a beard going on. I know I usually have it more fully engaged, but shaved for a date. Date didn't really happen, so I mean, hey, it's, it happens. Shit happens. So, yeah. Um... Changed my poster setup in my room. So that's new and different. Um, still got a lot of plans going on. Still have a lot of uh, issues coming up. Um, but I got my car running. My Nova's out on the road, out and about. It's nice. Um, the only issues I have with the Nova now are the brakes and the um, electrical issue. Somewhere along the line, my wipers die. My, uh, well, when the key is in the on position, but there's nothing else going on. Um, my wipers work. Everything works properly. But when I start the car, something is drawing enough power where I can't have the wipers on while I'm driving. I cannot have the um, the radio on. I can't have so a lot of things I can't have on. I don't know why. I'm still trying to figure it out. I wish I could just pay somebody to get rid of it. The oil gauge recently went, so there's oil all inside of my Nova now. Great. Something else to clean. But I pinched up the oil line that way I could drive the car without, you know, dying of being slippery down there. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've been really just trying to keep myself in a state of motivated and getting enough sleep. Like right now, it's 1.30 in the morning. I cannot sleep. So, in the saying that, I'm probably going to go to bed after this video gets posted. But other than that, 
I'm trying to do a lot more with the tractor and other stuff, but I haven't been able to make many videos on it because there's not that much. Um, I did buy the motor for it, so the motor is in. So there's no reason why it shouldn't be done by at least October of this year. Um, but I want to get another vehicle because I'm, I mean, yeah, I have my truck, yeah, I have my Nova, but I want to get something to play with, you know. Big boys need big toys. And boys don't grow out of getting toys. Toys just get freaking massive. They get massive. So, yeah. Instead of playing with monster trucks, we're playing with big boy trucks. Where the wheels are like this. Waste the size of your body. It's insane. But, fun. If you got the money. Now, you know what I'm saying with the recession that's going to happen. Uh, I hope everybody's doing safe. Everybody's doing well. Um... Hope your families are good. Um, just stay tuned. I'm going to keep up with videos as much as I can. I still have uh, one wish review left. And that will be my last one. Unfortunately because. There's nothing really more that I could put out of wish. That I won't really use. Um, but other than that. Take care guys. I'll be back with another video. Hopefully soon. If not. You can always hit me up on Instagram. You guys have my Instagram on here. I don't know where, but it's on one of the videos. So, I will see you guys, hopefully, in the next video. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.